Hey, hey, what? Ray Mac, hey, what? Hey, what? Welcome to Ray Mac's Kitchen and Grill. Love and not hate. Love and not hate. Welcome to Ray Mac's Kitchen and Grill. Love and not hate. What, what, what? Love and not hate. Hey YouTube, how you doing? How you doing? This is your boy Ray Mac. Today we're going to do some smothered pork chops. And I'm going to give you the simple and easiest way of making smothered pork chops, even down to the gravy. We're going to keep it plain Jane, just like how mama them used to do it back in the days. So the recipe, the ingredients that I do have, I got some kosher salt. Then I got some Spain spices all in one seasoning, some Spain spices, um, spices seasoning with some black pepper. And this is definitely what we're going to be coating our pork chops up with. I only have four pork chops. So let's go ahead and get into this here video. Okay, y'all, we got our pork chops. We're just going to sprinkle some of this kosher salt on it. And then we're going to go ahead and add in. That'll be enough for that. Then we're going to add some of this here all in one. Spain spice seasoning, some good stuff, y'all. And we're gonna do the exact same thing with the spicy seasoning. Like we say, we're not gonna add a lot of ingredients to these chops, just something that would give it um, flavor. And these seasonings will definitely give it flavor and some black pepper. And I'm gonna season the other side. All right, so right here, I'm using some moss spicy bread and mix. You could use whatever you like. If you want to make your own flour, that's cool. You could do that as well. Season it up however you want. I kind of like this moss bread and mix. And this, like I said, keeps everything simple today. So I don't have to add a lot of seasonings to a lot of stuff. And the reason being, because this pork chop is already seasoned up with just those four ingredients. And that's basically all that I would basically use to season up the pork chops with. Now, when I season up the gravy, like I said, I'm just gonna keep it um, plain Jane, just using three ingredients. And I'm gonna show you what those three ingredients are. And um, hopefully y'all can try those, man. It's still gonna make it taste good, all right? So I just wanna do something simple for you guys so y'all can try at home. So I'm gonna cover this up and let me shake this. Coat it all well. I, I can clean that up, y'all. I can clean that up. Easy clean up, easy clean up. Ain't got no problem. Now you got it coated up in that, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> it got some salt up. Flour up, um, pepper up in this here seasoning mix. Now we're ready to fry. So let's go ahead and go to the stove. All right, so I got my skillet on the stove with some um, vegetable oil. And you want your temperature to hit at least 350 before you start cooking. So we're right at 350. So I'm going to go ahead and start frying up this here pork chop. Okay, just so y'all can know, the only thing I want to do is just brown it. I don't want to fully cook it. So I let it um, cook for at least around about three to four minutes. So I'm just going to go ahead and flip them. And like we say, I just want to brown them. Because when we put it in gravy, it's going to um, fully cook all the way in. And as you can see, it got a nice little crust on it. 
and those four seasonings was all I needed to bread it this um chicken with I mean the pork chop with and like I said I'm gonna show you a very easy way of making your gravy and I make gravy in many ways so this is definitely gonna um, help somebody out who don't know how to make the gravy at home but it'll be good and tasty trust and believe me All right, so our pork chop is um, brown on both sides. We're just gonna take them out, put them into a pan. And then um, I'm gonna take this grease and I'm gonna pour it off in one of these um, reserve pans. And if you're gonna pour your grease out in any type of dish, make sure that um, it's not plastic. So I got my grease poured out and I wanted to keep just a little bit of the fragments that was in that grease, just a little bit of grease in it. And matter of fact, I just want to, let me just pour just a little bit more grease in here, just a little bit. Don't want a lot. That might, that'll do it right there. Just a little bit of grease. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take some butter and... Almost a half a stick, not fully a half a stick, but almost. So that's about, I'm going to say three tablespoons. And along with some of this here season, flour seasoning that I use from that moss, I'm going to put just some of that in there. And you can use whatever um, that you flour with your pork chops in, that'll work. And I'm just eyeballing this, so if I had to judge that, I'd say that's about one-fourth cup of flour. Alright, so I just want to take my spatula. And I'm going to turn down my heat just a little bit. And make sure you have some water. A cup of water get you one of those McDonald cups I know a lot of us got those McDonald cups in our cabinets all right get you a McDonald cup and that's my McDonald's cup Fill it all the way up with water, and you want to go ahead and let your flour, butter, and grease cook down a little bit. Now what I do at this point, other people's do their ways different, but like I said, I make gravy in many ways, but what I do at this particular point is I take my water, and I just add just a little bit, just a little bit. And I keep stirring. Just a little bit. By doing it this way, you can judge the thickness of your gravy. And just keep working it around. One McDonald cup will help you, I'm telling you. Just a little bit. Don't pour the whole cup. Just do it a little bit at a time as you go and just keep working it. Like I say, I'm going to show y'all the simplest way of making this here gravy. And like I said, I do have many other ways of making gravy, but I wanted to show y'all the easy, the easy way of how I do it.
with these um, smothered pork chops. Alright, so what I'm going to do now, turn my heat down just a little bit, turn my heat down to medium low, alright, and you got to be careful, keep your eye on your gravy, make sure that you don't burn it, but you can add a little bit of water at a time to judge your thickness. Now let's go ahead and season this gravy up. Alright, so the first thing I want to do, of course I want to add some salt, just a little bit of salt. Because we're going to judge it at the end of how much salt we're going to need later. Then I want to put me in some black pepper. And I love black pepper in my gravy. I'm telling you, just something about that black pepper. And then I want to put some of this here, Norris chicken flavoring in it all right told y'all i'm gonna try to make this as simple and easy as i can for y'all now i'm going to add in some of this here onion lipton soup mix okay i'm gonna add in a pack of that And I know this video is going to be kind of long because I'm showing y'all how I do it and I know I'm not doing a voiceover, but I'm just showing y'all how I do it. Just add it in there. Some people might want to put water in this, but no, don't go. Just add it in there. And then we're going to add in the last thing, which is parsley flakes. This is all I want you to do as far as this gravy goes. Take your McDonald cup with water in it, pour you a little bit, and mix it around. Like I say, a little bit of water, not a whole lot. Now, when we taste this gravy, we're just going to taste it to see if the pepper is hidden, if the salt is hidden, if one is lacking, we add to it. The last thing I want to put in my gravy is one sliced onion. That's it. That's all. I'm not adding in no more ingredients to this. This is all we're going to add. And like we say, a little bit of water can judge your thickness of your gravy, as you can see this here. And I'm just adding a little bit at a time. And I'm going to turn my heat back up a little bit to medium. You don't want it on medium high because you'll burn it. Just let it simmer. So this is a this is a good way of doing smothered pork chops. Um, for those who have never cooked smothered pork chops, and I guarantee you the flavor is there just add a little bit more water and i still got a little bit in this mcdonald cup just a little bit but we still want to work it and this doesn't take long to, to cook so i'm gonna add the rest of that water and move this over to the side. That's it, y'all. So, now I just want this to simmer a little bit. Now, at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to taste this gravy just to see where we at as far as the seasoning goes.
we there. We are there. So now I'm going to add the pork chops back to this here gravy. And I just want this to simmer on top of the stove for the next 20 minutes just so these pork chops can get real tender. And after that, we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna make me some, some rice. And of course I'm doing that rice in the microwave. Cover your pork chops up, cover them. Just cover them up. That's it, just cover them up. Cover your chops. And that breading on that chops will help thicken it as well. So what we're gonna do now is turn your heat down. You just want this to simmer. All right, that's what we're gonna do. Allow this to simmer. And my McDonald cup is empty. I'm gonna put some more water in it. Just in case if I need more, it's ready to use. Okay, y'all, we're not quite done yet. I just want to show y'all the process. And we got at least around about 12 minutes to go. And um, like we say, you got to manage um, your gravy. Make sure that your gravy isn't um, losing all of the moisture if it's if you look like it needs more water add more water to it but when you do add the water add the water a little bit at a time do not just pour water in there just add a little bit at a time all right and this is looking good y'all and the taste is unbelievable all right so i'll be back with the finished product okay youtube this is the pork chop and gravy as you can see it's perfectly done, and the gravy is nice, smooth, and it tastes magnificent. And the chops, as you can see, you be like, well, where the chops at? They smothered. They're smothered in gravy. Yes, sir. This is what we call old-fashioned pork chop and gravy. Pork chop and gravy. And I'm going to go ahead and dress up a plate for you real quick, all right? Let me go ahead and do that for you right now. All right, so those of y'all who already know, I like my rice season. Just can't eat plain rice. So I take me at least around about a good. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just that greedy. I got to get three scoops. Then I take me one of these pork chops. Just one. Good God. And just a little bit of gravy right on top of that rice. Just a little bit of gravy right on top. But maybe a little bit more gravy. So, in a spoon. This is all I need for this here meal is a fork and a knife to slice up muck with. This right here is my muck, my smothered pork chop and gravy, and this is the easiest way to fix this here meal. I'm telling you, if you try this, you will love it. Not only will you love it, your family members will love it, your friends will love it. Whoever you serve this to will love it. So give this a try, and I guarantee you, you will like it. But before you leave, hold on. Let me just cut into this here chop real quick. Yeah, see that? That's a done chop. That's a done chop. Like I say, once you fry it, done chop. Once you fry it, make your gravy. You go ahead and let this sit in the gravy for at least around about 25, 20 to 25 minutes, slow simmer, um, and then you go ahead and eat. Let me just taste this for y'all real quick. Let me just taste it for you. Mm. 
Mm. Mm. Y'all got to go. Bye. I want to thank you so much for watching this here video. If you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Comment below and let me know what other type of videos you would like to see in the up and coming future. And please watch these other videos. And remember to subscribe to this video if you're not a Raymac family member. Love and not hate. Love somebody. Peace.